Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel. I am Angie from the Michael and Angie Foundation. This is Michael. He's no longer with us in person, but he is with us in spirit. If you're new here, he was my cousin. He was also my husband and he passed away July 3rd. Today, I just want to speak about gratitude. Gratitude is one of those virtues that is often underestimated, but it can be extremely powerful. It can be extremely transformative. And that's why I think it's worth talking about. And I think it's worth focusing on today. So I'm going to quote a scripture for you guys. Well, I guess I'll paraphrase. <laughs> it goes, he who hath more will be given unto him. And he who hath not the same will be taken away, even that which he hath. First, it sounds kind of mean and unfair. Like, well, if you don't even have anything, then more, it's going to be taken away from you. And then if you have stuff, like it's, you're going to be given more. That doesn't make sense. Like we should give to the poor and, you know, the rich and people with prosperity and abundance should give. But I think what that scripture is really saying is that when you have an attitude of prosperity, abundance, and fullness and your heart is full of gratitude for what you have and you realize and you amplify and you magnify what you have then more is given to you if you have an attitude of woe is me i never have enough then that narrows your focus and that that closes off your heart to receiving more i'll also give you an analogy where you know if you give someone a, a gift and they are just so excited and so happy and you see their joy and you see them using what you gave them and you see how much it, it fulfills them and improves their life and it improves their, the quality of their life. You'll think to yourself, yeah, I want to give them more gifts because it makes them so happy and it makes you feel good. But if you give someone a gift and then they just kind of set it aside or they just kind of turn up their nose and you know, or don't thank you, or um, never use it, or even give it to someone else, then you think, mm, maybe I don't want to give them a gift in the future. You, you just kind of feel bad about that. And so I feel like um, God and the universe kind of worked on the same principle where, you know, if you're someone who's always appreciating what you have, then they're going, yeah, that's a person I want to give more to because they really appreciate it. They really magnify it. They really make the most of it. And they're so happy because of it. And I think God and the universe want us to be happy. They want us to appreciate what we have. If we don't appreciate it, then they're like, uh, we'll give it to someone else who does appreciate it. But at the same time, you know, the God allows the sun to shine on the just and the unjust as alike. And we all are given in abundance. If you stop to think about it, all the basic things that we need for survival are there in place for us because we are alive. So let's take a moment, if you will, take a moment with me now and let's go through the things that we're grateful for. And it's not enough to just list them or say them out loud or write them down. You really gotta feel the feeling of gratitude for the magic to start happening. So let's take some deep breaths. Fill your lungs with that nice air, the air that sustains all of our cells, all of our bodily functions. We can be grateful right now that our bodies work without us having to understand how they work and without us having to do anything. They renew themselves, all the cells renew themselves. We have all the air that we need to breathe. We have the sunshine that shines on us in abundance and sustains our planet and sustains our lives. We have food, we have water, we have community. I'm grateful for all of you viewers. I'm grateful for your participation. I'm grateful for your interest. I'm grateful to be able to connect across time and space this way because someone could be watching this video years from now on the other side of the world and get this message and I think it's a beautiful thing and it's a wonderful miraculous time to be alive. 
I'm grateful for the time that I had with Michael. I'm grateful for all the ways that he made me laugh and smile and the way that he was my friend. And he would often say, we're friends before anything else. So thank you, Michael, for that. Um, I'm grateful that I had the chance and I have the chance to be a mother again and to start on a grand adventure of parenthood with Michael and and be able to share with him the experience of parenthood. Another way that you can really feel gratitude for yourself is if you lay down and stretch your arms out to your sides. This is an open gesture of receiving and it works great as you lay there, you can close your eyes, you can think about all the wonderful things that you have to enjoy, all the resources, all of the blessings, all of the things that make our lives easier and make our lives pleasant and comfortable, all of the people that have touched our lives, the family, the parents that took care of us, you know, all of us are here today because we had parents who sacrificed for us. We have ancestors, generations and generations and generations of ancestors who sacrificed, who evolved through trial and error to give us the lives that we have now, that we enjoy now. <clears throat> we have our talents, our passions, our interests, things that make life fun, things that make life interesting, even our challenges. Even our trials and our challenges and the painful things in life are things to be grateful for because we learn and grow from them. And those can be invaluable when you look back over your life and you look over the difficult experiences you had and then you find the lessons that you learned and you realize how else could you have learned those lessons without those trials and experiences that were difficult. And then we, we see more clearly what a gift that those were for us. And even difficult people, they grow your heart. They cause your heart to expand, to be able to accommodate and love to a greater capacity than you thought possible. <sighs> Keep taking those deep breaths, feeling that gratitude. And again, laying with your arms to your sides, you can also envision and engage your imagination as you think about the things that you want to come into your life in the future, imagine that you and the things that you want and the things that you love are connected and they're making their way to you. And the reason why they're part of you is because you love them and you want them. And so they're already yours. They're just on their way to you. So that is a great exercise. And I'm telling you, every time I do it, it makes my heart feel so good and so happy and big and expansive. And it's, I, I seriously suggest you guys try it. It's one of the best feelings to lay there and just bask in this abundant feeling and this glow of, yes, good things are coming to me. The universe and God love me. They want me to be happy. They want me to enjoy abundance. They want to shower me with blessings and all of us. And so I hope that this message reaches you in the right time, in the right way, and that you enjoy your day. Thank you for watching.